Previously on Drenched, we went on a late night mission on the streets of Nevis, complete with crabs, goats, and volcanic hot springs. Then the next morning, we sailed on to a deserted speck of an island where we encountered some incredible untouched diving. After our stop at Redonda, we continued on southwest for about 14 miles to our next destination, the island of Montserrat. With only a few hours left of daylight, we went ashore to arrange for a local guide to take us to the buried city of Plymouth. But first, we made a quick stop at the observatory to take in some of Montserrat's most stunning views. What did you guys think about the observatory? Awesome. Yeah, that so was beautiful, awesome. huh? So beautiful. Beautiful. Is this just uh, ash and dust, or is it a piece of the mountain? No, that's that that's, that's how the mountain set to it. On this far side there is ash and uh -huh. come down when the pyroplastic flow, and then when the rain comes, you take down everything. Oh, wow. That sounds very scary. Yeah. Well, at first it was very scary, but after a while we get accustomed to it. Did they? Did you? Did they know it was coming, or did it just happen? Okay, it, it started with a. It start when it started. It started with a song like you know, like a jet, uh -huh. a singing song. Uh -huh. But we didn't know where the song coming from. We only just hear the sound up in the mountain for days. For a few days, well. Okay. We don't hear the singing. And then after a while now, after that will go, say about a month, yeah. then now we notice that we see the ash coming. So Aww. sometimes you're at your home and you find uh. ash dropping on you. Okay. So then right away then go and get the scientists to come in. Okay. So then after a while now it, it gets worse and worse and then now it starts to send up ash and then power plastic will come down. Because it's a restricted area, our guide wasn't able to take us very close the night before, but as we were on our way out of Montserrat the next morning, we were able to get a much closer look at the tragic ruins of Plymouth that are buried in ash after a volcanic eruption that took place only 22 years ago. Hearing the story from someone who actually lived through this event was such a humbling experience, and yet, in the face of all the adversity and loss that the residents of Montserrat faced, we found nothing but hope and kindness in every person we met on this island. Nate's training to be a real pirate. He's got his eye patch on. My eye patch popped down. Oh. <laughs> overboard, like me and my like, You could just what? like shot right overboard. Oh shit. <laughs> you only need one lens, anyways. <laughs> All right, so what's the plan now? Guadalupe. 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 
Hey, hey, Harbor. We're going to Guadalupe. 34 so miles. Close. <laughs> Joshua's first time to play Yahtzee. Yeah. Okay, and <laughs> Oh, you never played Yahtzee? Uh-uh. Oh, I just assumed that they all have been here. to go anchor up in the harbor of Dehe. All right, we got our Sunday best on. Going into town, Guadalupe. Tuesday best. Everybody's feeling fancy on a Tuesday. <laughs> Guadalupe looks awesome and we're really excited to go into town and check it out. Very pretty. Bar? Straight to the bar. Yeah, we just went into town, <laughs> did a little walk around. We got some cheese because it's flinch. Amazing cheese. But other than that, there wasn't really a whole lot going on in town. It's pretty much shut down. So we are going to head on over to Rick's Pick <laughs> Hemingways. This cozy little spot looked awesome, and I could definitely see why it was an old favorite of Rick's. However, like the rest of town, it was closed. So we decided to spend a peaceful night enjoying one of the most scenic anchorages we'd seen so far. Well, it's 6 a.m. First morning in Dehe Harbor in Guadalupe. Beautiful sunrise this morning, and as you can see, Nate is getting the tanks ready for the first dive of the day. And Jordan getting cameras ready to go. Getting ready to head over to dive the wall. Right over there. Dingy's gonna be low riding today. And we ready, crew? Where are we going? We're going to scuba. Oh, wow. Scuba, scuba.
How many lionfish are in this too? Okay, who's got what guess? She said four. Well, I say six. Six, I say seven. Yeah. You say what? Nine, why not? Nine? Soccer? She's in the washroom. Tiki, how many do you think? She says there? six. We got one, two. One, two. Oh my god. I lost. Three, four, five, six. Oh, there's still one in there. I might win. Seven. Seven. <laughs> oh, is that it? Fish. Two fish. Three fish. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. Hey, Rick wins. Going for a hike on an old abandoned road in the woods next to the stream, the Dehe stream, the river. Well, that's what we think we're doing. Yeah, hopefully think? it's going to lead to a waterfall. <laughs> yeah. But nobody here seems to know. Or maybe a landfill because it smells like shit. <laughs> or something rotten. Yeah. But, uh, woo! Woo! -hoo. Watch. Watch your step. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, it looks beautiful so far. It's really lush and green. Oh, yeah, it is pretty. Yeah. It smells starting to smell better. So we're, I think we're going the right way. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> Hold on to a couple and just swing far and back. Now swing towards me. I'm gonna fall and die. No, 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 you got a couple. Tune in next time as we pay a visit to Jacques Cousteau's underwater reserve, Pigeon Island. Then we celebrate Guadeloupe's national holiday in style. <laughs>